in the previous session we have seen about primary keys on multiple columns in this session we are going to see about check constraint as the name suggests this constraint validates or restricts the data on a particular column based on how you define it so let us see how to create a check constraint at the time of table creation so i create a table test i give test id as number which is a primary key i also define a check constraint on this i say the id should be always greater than 100 now let me create another field which is the name okay let us create this table the table gets created now let us insert values into this table let's see what happens when i try to insert 100 it says it is a violation of the check constraint because you have defined it should be greater than 100 so let us change this value as 101 and insert so now this gets inserted successfully okay now this constraint can be created on a character field as well so let us see how to create a check constraint on a var char field at the same time let's do it using the alter table method sorry alter table test add constraint okay i'm going to create a check constraint on the table test okay so i name it as check underscore test the check constraint is test underscore name field should have entries like okay so the beginning of the var char field should have the entries tst and the rest is okay so percentage symbol here means it is up to you to fill in the data as you like so this is what i've put in let us create the constraint now this constraint got created successfully because this value also matched the style okay so let us insert one more okay now let me change this into small letters so you remember even the capital letters how you have styled it here has to match exactly how it comes here as well needless to say if i change it to anything else it is not going to work again okay so it checks the upper case and also the names as such so let's revert this back now it gets inserted okay so this is a check constraint where i have created it on one column at a time now at the time of table creation you can create a single check constraint and combine it for more than one columns as well so let us see how that works i'm dropping the table that we created i'm going to recreate the same table again only thing the uh, the previous time we created two check constraints individually let us now change that
okay. What we did is two steps in the previous trial. Now we have created it in one shot. In the same check constraint, I am defining the test ID should be greater than 100 and the test name should be of the format TST uh, followed by whatever characters that you want. So this way I could create this also. Let's see. The table is getting created. Now let us insert values. So it had inserted one row. This is how it looks. Still the constraint is valid. It's checked on the same way. Let us violate it and see. Okay. So it will say it is a violation of the check constraint. Okay. So you can create it individually or you can combine for multiple columns like this and create. Also depending upon the values that you want, say for example here I have just said test ID is greater than 100 and I can also say test ID less than 1000, right. So I can change this as say for example greater than 100 and less than 1000. Right? So I can create a test constraint like this also. So these can be a combination of your requirements and for a single column and also you can combine multiple columns as you like. Okay? So check constraints can be made at one shot on a column or you can combine multiple check constraints for different columns and create it in one single command. Okay. With this we come to the end of check constraint session. In the next session we will see about default constraints. Please subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.